Before we start, what's the value of 3 to power of 3 to power of 3? Are we going to start from bottom or are we going to go top down? Right? Which one is the right answer? Okay. So the right value is 3 to power of 27. That means we need to go top down. We need to start from here. If this is the case, so I could add parentheses to this because we know we are supposed to start from here. Okay. Now knowing this, how are we going to solve this? We're going to add this power too to both sides, right? Squaring both sides. Okay. Now, let's just review the power rule, okay? Just replace m by n, right? So in this case, x squared will be the value of m, which will go out. And 2 will be replaced by that. So the equation will be x squared again to power of x squared. Okay. So before we find the solutions, we need to check something. How many solutions do we have? Are there any solutions that the one we could find? Let's check. Let's call x squared t. So to understand this better, let's quickly find three points and see what the graph looks like. x squared is always positive or equal to zero. So that means t is positive or equal to zero. So that's why we only draw the right-hand side of the equation right? Only the positive side. So that's the first point, 0 and 1, 1 and 1, and 2 and 2, okay? So let's just see all the points on the graph. You see, between these two points, there's also a minimum, okay? And that's what the graph looks like. And now y equals 4 would be a line. And because we only have one intersection, we only have one solution. Okay, so there is only one solution, and that would be t equals 2. Now we know x squared equals 2, and we're going to have two solutions, positive, negative, square root of 2. Okay, I hope you found the video useful. If you like the video, uh, don't go without a like.